we're going to have a look at this, the pro version of Spinner Chief, which currently is in beta and therefore is free. Uh, so this is how to get it and then what to do with it once you've got it. So this is the first interface you see when you click on spinnerchief.exe. You need to click on Start Pro Version, click OK, and uh, the software connects to the server, and you get this uh, login GUI that says Buy Spinner Chief. Obviously, you're not buying it because it's not for sale. You just put your name in here, blah, 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 and put an email in here. Make sure it's a real one because... Uh, because you are going to get a verification email through. You have to click on a, a link to verify. And your payment code, this is important. This time, you must use one to six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you hit this login register button. That's all you need to do. Remember to look for the email to verify. And then you need to wait because we are authorizing the beta um, Pro version by hand. We're authorizing manually, so it may take a couple of hours. But nevertheless, it will get authorized. And I will now pause this video and we'll go into Spinner Chief Pro to see what it can do. Okay, this is the first screen you see when you first open Spinner Chief Pro version. You can either run the program directly, load a project, or do what we're going to do and create a new project. We'll click OK to that. Name of the project. Called test 3. Keywords. Um, keep it quite simple just to give you a clue. Description. This is just for your purposes. So you know what the project's about. We'll create that. And we'll call it test three. It's created successfully. Now, which thesaurus are we going to use? Well, I'll just load the default one because I want to show you something. Remember, in the last video, we showed uh, how to create a thesaurus and put a password on it so that nobody else can fiddle with it. Well, that's what I did with the default thesaurus. So I've got to put the password in now, which if you remember, was that. And now I can use the thesaurus. That shows you the security to stop, which will stop people from editing your thesaurus and calling it their own. Yes, so you want this wants to be the default thesaurus of the project. Click yes to that. This is for information only, so we just close that off and go into the software. Okay, so this is the project here and all of the project settings are in this tab, so let's just have a look here. These are all the elements of the project that can be changed and saved. Thus, they will be loaded back up whenever you load up a project. So it's all of your protect words, the hyperlinked anchor, wor anchor words, your resource box, CSV variables if you use them, and all of these advanced options. So any time you make a change to any of these, anywhere at all, you'll be asked if you want to change the project. For example, if I want to see 40 characters when I'm in sentence mode rather than 50, Immediately I'm asked if I want to save that to the project, so I'll click yes to that. And down here is your project information, if you want to change the name or the keywords that are involved or the description. It's all changeable, it's all editable and it all makes it very powerful. So if we go back to the right article, in order to uh, get a um, an article going, you have to create one. So what you do is right click here and click create a new article. You could import one, of course, uh, but we're going to create a new one. What's the title of it? Let's call it uh, something like that. 
Do we want to save that? Yes, we'll save that to the project. Now, where is the content coming from? It's coming from here. We're going to scrape some articles. This is what you get with the pro version as well. Now, it's got all of the keywords listed in there from the project. You don't have to use those. You may have others. There's obviously no others in this drop-down box, but you could just type some in if you wanted to. There, you can search for basically anything you want to. I'm going to stay with stay with all of the project keywords for the, for this time round. I'm going to go for five articles just so that I've got a choice. You can get paragraphs of articles and put them all together if you want to try that. Personally, I think it's easier and simpler just to get an article and rewrite it. So a number of words, that means greater, uh, greater than or equal to 100. That'll be fine. So all I do is hit Get Articles. And Spinner Chief goes off and gets us some hopefully nicely written, ready-made articles ready for us to rewrite based on these keywords at the top. There's the first one. Oh, lose weight and burn fat not necessarily what I was after. Let's have a look and see what else it comes up with. Do you know how to gain muscle fast? That sounds good. Build muscle and burn fat. Yeah, that's that's where I'm coming from. Weightlifting routines. Basic rules you must know to build muscle up safely. And how to lose fat build muscles fast. Okay, let's go for this one I like to the sound of. Now, what I'm looking for here is, <laughs> strangely enough, to make sure that the article doesn't read like it's already been spun by somebody, because there's nothing worse than trying to re-spin a spun article. So I'll just click on that, and that's the article down here. Could you teach me how to gain muscle fast? Could you teach me how to pack on an extra 10 to 15? Pa yeah, that sounds okay. So I want to rewrite that. So I'm going to send it to the edit box just by clicking that button. Now if I drop down there, there it is. All ready to rewrite with the, of course, our favourite friend, Reciprocal Super Replace System. Now once you've rewritten the article, uh, which I won't do because that's not what this tutorial is about, you may want to look at your uh, keyword density, which is in this tab here. Now, at the moment, it's at zero because it's looking for all three together. Uh, so it's not going to find any. So you can just type your own in. Lift, for example, if just click Add New, and it gives the density straight away. Weights, 0.45, and muscles. 0.27. So you might want to change the density accordingly, according to what you think is the best SEO for that. I'll close that off. Currently, that is what the Pro version does. Uh, there are going to be other features added to the Pro version, so please try it out, put it to the test, and give us the feedback on the forum. Thanks for watching this tutorial.